I'm Matt Rachinsky for Hornets.com, being joined now by one of the newest Charlotte Hornets, Vernon Carey Jr. out of Duke, the number 32 overall pick. Vernon, just kind of talk to us. I know you're here in Charlotte today, had the press conference. How are things going for you over the course of the last 24 to 48 hours or so? Just trying to soak it all in, man. Just fulfilling my dream. And, uh, I mean, it doesn't stop here. I mean, I just, just got to keep on working. And, I mean, I'm just excited, really, man. Really excited. It's one of those things, I, you know, I've been covering these for a while. And these draft picks, when you guys come in, I know the whirlwind that you have been through over the course of the last, especially the course of the last 24 to 36 hours as you're flying places, going through the draft. Things were a little bit different so far, but you said it yourself. It's like fulfilling a lifelong dream. <clears throat> Does this just feel unreal to you right now? Is it, is it started to settle in? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's starting to settle in just from meeting everyone. Um, and the coaching staff and just being in, just being around everyone is definitely starting to sit in. You know, I, I know I was kidding around with you a little bit on draft night. Being a Duke guy, you know, you're coming out here with all these North Carolina guys yeah, man, they, out around here. But, uh, are you going to be okay with that? I know that it kind of surprised you on draft night. I mean, yeah, I'm definitely going to be okay with that. But since I got here, they've been bringing it up. Since the, uh, the GM bring it up, uh, <laughs> might might come to. Uh, <laughs> Coach, bring it up, Coach Borrega. Yeah. So, I, I, uh, I yeah. love that, I love Definitely that. Definitely pick on me about that. <laughs> yeah, these guys like to give flack a little bit, but, you know, you got to expect that as a rookie. How yeah. excited are you to take on some of these rookie things that you're going to have to do as well as getting in the NBA? Yeah, I mean, it's just part of the rookie – just the rookie – I feel like it's just a rookie thing. So, I mean, whatever they need me to do, I'll do it. But uh, I feel like it's just a rookie thing, so – when you look back at everything that you've gone through in getting to this point, what do you think it is that has prepared you most for this moment as you prepare to become an NBA full-time player? This is your job now. Yeah. Um, I feel like just, just, just work really, man. Um, just from, just from when, when I first started, I wanted to play since I was nine. I mean, my dad always told me, you just have to keep on working for what you want. So, um, I feel like just work, work, work gets you anywhere that, that you want. So just, yeah. And you had mentioned that afterwards. You you had told me that or you had said that your dad had played a big part in making you just kind of continue to push you along, even though he was an NFL player. We know there's not the similarity there, but I also heard on ESPN that your grandfather also played collegiate basketball and was a big impact for you. Can you just talk about how big of an impact he made on your life? Yeah, I mean, he was he was actually the first one who introduced me to basketball when I was nine. Uh, my grandfather, and, uh, he played at Oral Roberts, I think, in the in early nineteen uh, early nineteen seventies. Um, I mean, yeah, I felt like if it wasn't for him, I would I feel like I wouldn't even be in this position because the first uh, first sport I really I really like like uh, was uh, baseball. So I think I would have got too tall for it, but. Um, <laughs> So you liked basketball, baseball. Your dad played football, and you yeah. ended up becoming a basketball player. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, just stick with what I mean. Yeah, I love it. So, how excited are you about looking at this team, this young core of guys? You're here with three of them. You know, yeah. all four of you guys that we brought in on draft night. How, how pumped are you to look at this and go, man? We got a young, energetic group. I can't wait to get into court with these guys. Yeah, I mean. I feel like with our with our, with this team, I feel like we can get, we can get up and down just with our 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 own just with the uh, the young guys that we have on the team and um yeah I feel like we can definitely uh, get out and push the ball and get easy back uh, easy buckets so definitely. And you're ready to run that court now. Uh, obviously, definitely. you drop that weight, dropping thirty yeah. pounds. That's gonna help you get up and down, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Just is that. I feel like it definitely played a, a big role in my athleticism, just helping that increase. I feel like I could jump higher, move quicker, stuff like that. And my mobility, just be able to switch on guards and guards, guard, be able to guard guards now and stuff like that. I feel like that's something that the weight, that uh, weight drop definitely helped me, helped me with. I like the fact that you've got these goals and what you want to kind of add to your game. That's tremendous. When you look at this, how excited are you to get back on the court? I mean, it's been months since you guys have been yeah. do anything. How, how excited are you? Definitely exciting. Just because I, mean, I we haven't played, I haven't played an organized game in like eight, eight, almost eight months. So it's definitely um, 
definitely anxious to get out there. All right. I know we're all anxious to see you as well. So we, we'll make sure we're catching up with you as you go through practice, get into training camp, and, and we'll be there along the way in your rookie journey, man. Thanks Thank for joining you. us, and welcome to the Charlotte Hornets. Thank you, man. All right. For Vernon Carey Jr., I'm Matt Ruchinski with Hornets.com.